everybody, this is Jason from The Rogue Banshee. And thank you for joining me today as we talk about the comfortable hybrid inside the waistband holster from my friends at Falco Holsters. Now I've worn this for a while and this one is for the SIG P365. And as you can see here, it clips right in here and it locks in right here on the trigger guard. And you can see the trigger there a little bit. Now, the question you're going to have is, does it work with the XL? And, well, yes, it does. Although it's not designed for the XL. They do have an XL version, which is a little bit longer, which will protect that muzzle a little more. But it does fit, and I have carried it with my XL. And as you can see here, I have my Crimson Trace Rad Micro on, and it does work with red dots. I mean, it fits really well there with a micro red dot. Now I really like this holster. This thing is actually really is comfortable. I mean, they have a lot of air holes here to let the air flow through your body. So that way you don't sweat so much behind this because this is a leather holster with a Kydex front. But what's really cool about these holes is it also gives it a lot of flexibility. I mean, this is a pretty flexible holster as it is, but when you have those holes, it really does make it really flexible. Now, as much as I like this holster, there are a couple of things that, well, I wish they could improve. Now, these clips to go onto your pants and into your belt are really, really tight. As you can see here, I have a hard time getting in there because these tabs they should be opened a little bit more but the one thing is is once you eventually struggle to get this onto your pants and into your belt there you have no worries about this coming out i mean this thing just clamps right on so it's a good and a bad it's good because you know it's secure it's bad because it's a little hard to get this thing on now, if you don't want to wear this inside the waistband, you could wear this outside. So you could just put your belt around this, put it on your side, and wear this as an outside the waistband holster. Now, you would have to get this kind of perfectly between your belt loops to do that, but it is possible. You could also just skip a belt loop as well. Now, this was a very comfortable holster to wear. I did enjoy wearing it. The one thing I had when I was out at the range and even just loading up for the day was it's a little hard to reholster. But I figured out how to reholster where it's not so hard. Because what happens is, is since this is such soft leather, that back kind of you know conforms to your body, which pushes into the kydex. So what I found is when you're reholstering, if you come in. A little bit on an angle and get your muzzle to hit right up here on the sweat guard and let the sweat guard follow it through it'll reholster every time otherwise if you're trying to go in and this is up against your body you're going to be fighting right there you can see my thumb moving you're going to be fighting your body to get this thing reholstered and you know since it's collapsing it's even harder because now it's going to catch on the slide that's why I found coming in on an angle and just riding the leather straight into the holster works every time. Now the craftsmanship of this, I mean, you can see they have these, this Kydex riveted in and they even have these belt clips riveted in as well. And the belt clips do go through the leather. Quality of this thing is great. I mean, this metal, as tough as it is to get on, it's strong. The leather is nice. The stitching is really good. I don't see any problems with the stitching. And remember, these are handmade. Now, like on Kydex, you're so used to modern Kydex where you have high definition. It's because they're doing these through presses, through with, you know, the jigs. These are hand pressed. So don't be surprised if this is just not as high definition as you're used to with other Kydex holsters. 
But since this is going to be inside your waste pan, you're not going to see it anyway. And you'll see some lines here. Um, you'll see that they did some lines here. These are all done by hand. And I'll give you a close-up of it. Because you'll actually see where they kind of went over a little bit. Just And it's just purely for looks, right? It's no nowhere near for function. You can see where they're doing the lines by hand. It could have been a little more careful. But again, that's really being nitpicky because there's no function. The sides here are nice and smooth. They did a really good job with the sides here. And um, yeah, this is good. I like how they doubled up on the sweat guard, especially since I'm now using that to reholster. It's great to have that sweat guard doubled up. Let's hear you in the comments down below. What do you think about a hybrid inside the waistband holster? Not only a hybrid, but what about one that was handmade? I personally like it, but I really do want to hear your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there and look forward to seeing you again soon.